Black queens forever, snow bunnies never. I said black queens forever, snow bunnies never. I said black queens forever, snow bunnies never. Okay, so the caption on this video was something like, oh yeah, if my son brings home some weird white girl like his dad did, whatever, right? So then I go and I look at her page and the dad is black and she's white, right? And um, the video is her saying, you know, like she's teaching her son to only date black girls because some white girls want to mix child a little too bad, whatever, 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 right? But if a white girl had a child with your son, you know, when they grew up, of course, right? The child would not be mixed. It would be white. I've mentioned in videos before and I can't remember the title so I won't be able to like put it up here right. But I mentioned how like biracial is the new black and white is the new biracial, okay? Because you come across people who are one fourth other and three fourths white and they now be talking about they mixed. Like I'm not even joking. I, I distinctly remember I recorded a video about this white guy. He said something like he don't call himself white because his grandmother is Thai. I was like, Chadsworth, who cares? You're white. Like, what are you saying, right? But... That brings me back to this video because this white girl had a biracial baby and she talking about, yeah, let me, let me teach my biracial son to stay away from white girls because some of them want a mixed child a little bit too bad. If a white girl wanted a mixed child, she would have to have a child with a black guy, not a mixed guy. Cause ain't nothing going to come from the union of a, like of a biracial and a white person, but a white baby. Like, like, what are y'all talking about? But y'all really deluded yourselves into believing that biracials are black. Then let me get back on the caption that she made because it was so odd. It says something like, oh, if my son brings home some weird white girl like his dad did, there can only be one of us. Like, what? Like, let me just imagine for a second if I had a kid with a white guy, which I wouldn't, but let's speak hypothetically. If I had a kid with a white guy, so I had this biracial kid, and let's pretend I did the exact same thing as this white woman. Let's say I recorded a video telling my biracial son to only marry white women and, and not a black woman because because there can only be one black woman like what that is so strange you know what i'm saying like it's it's so strange because basically this white woman is saying like like she wants this proximity to blackness she want to be the only white person like like i can't even explain how weird this is you know what i'm saying and it's even more weird because imagine telling your child not to date someone like you what does that say about you I remember making a video about almost this exact same interaction. And I believe I remember what that video was called. So I'm going to put it up here if I do, right? But in that video, it was a biracial boy. And he was like a teenager or something, right? And his white big sister, okay? So his half sister was full white, okay? And she used... And, and mind you, she had a bonnet on for some reason. And that's why I remember what the video is called. Because I believe I call her like bonnet wearing Becky or something, right? And she used this exact same sound, talking about old oh, snow bunnies, never black queens forever, whatever. And it's like, you're a white woman. What are you saying about white women when you tell somebody not to date y'all? Like, but come on now. Like, that's, that's very odd. That's very peculiar, right? And it just, it gives very strange vibes, right? Now, let me get back to this woman talking about, oh, yeah, some white woman want a mixed child. Why would they have a child with a half white person if they want a mixed child? That child going to be white. Like, what? Like, the fact that this child just came out of a cave coochie. Like, you was there, baby girl. You know that he grew up inside of your cave womb and was pushed through your cave canal. Like, you were there, right? The fact that this child just came out of you, and you ain't black, yet you calling this child black anyway, hmm, it's giving strange, it's giving odd, right? But that goes back to slavery. It just, it really does, okay? Everything always goes back to slavery, right? So during slavery white men would rape and slave black women right and a new group of people was born the biracials right so the biracials argue that they should be considered white because they have a white parent they say we're not black you know like we shouldn't have to be slaves and i'm not mad at them at all for that because you're not black and i would use the same damn excuse okay right but white people say well you're not good enough to be white you know blackness is so inferior that one drop of black makes you black therefore you are considered black anyway right that's why to this day white people consider their mixed children black that's why they post stuff like this that belief that blackness is so inferior that it pollutes someone if they have even a drop of it in them is the reason why this white woman just got on here talking about if her biracial son had a child with a white girl 
and the child was literally an octoroon, three-fourths white, the child would be considered mixed or whatever because she truly views this half cave child as black. <laughs> like, like that's insane to me because this child just grew in your cave womb. Like I said, it, it passed through your cave canal. You were there for all of that, right? How can you consider that child to be black? Knowing you're not black. How can you, how can you believe that you can make a black child? That's my question. Like, how do you believe that? Because this is my thing. This is my thing. If I had a child with a white guy, which again, I wouldn't. But if I did... I would never, ever call my child white. Like, like what? There is no way I can grow a child in my womb. It can be half of who I am. Like, I ain't no surrogate or nothing. Like, this is this is actually, like, my biological child. And the child is just white. There is no way that can happen because I'm not white. There is no way, okay? So, the child could be half white. You know, yeah, the child's dad is white. It could be half white. But there's no way it's just going to be white. There's no way my biracial child will grow up talking about, yeah, I'm a white woman or, oh, I'm a white man, whatever. They would, they would say, oh, I'm a biracial woman. I'm a biracial man. I'm mulatto. I'm mixed, whatever, right? Because there's just no way that you can be half of me but only be white, right? So I'm confused on how white people even claim that their children who are half of them are just black. Like, what? But again, that speaks back to this idea of how how whiteness is pure. You can't be white if you have a drop of anything else. That's the way that they oppress people, right? And they make sure that there's always a class to be oppressed. In white people's perverted, sick-ass minds, biracials are truly black. They can't be mixed because being mixed means you're part white. And there's no, there's no, you know, partial stepping with whiteness. Either you're pure white and, and that's the only type of white you can be. Either you're an oppressor or you're the oppressed. There's no way you can be half oppressor and half oppressed in their minds, right? That's why they will truly sit around pretending that their mixed children are black, right? That That's, that's the only reason why, right? And these people are sick and they are twisted because again, look back at this woman's caption talking about, oh, there can only be one of us, right? These people as, as, as y'all, and this doesn't even make sense. I've looked, I study the caves and I still don't understand them, right? These people really, they, <laughs> they want to be around us. They want to be in our presence. They want to be us. Okay. Let's take it a step further. They don't just want to be around us. They want to be us. That's why you'll peep that when a lot of these non-black people are in interracial relationships, and I, I say non-black people as opposed to white people because all of these people do this, right? Whenever these non-black people are in interracial relationships with black people, they put on a costume and they try to become us, right? Now, let me be clear. When you're in a relationship with somebody who is not the same as you racially or ethnically or whatever, there's going to be some cultural exchange. I expect for you all to start eating each other's foods and, you know, like speaking like each other and stuff because that's what happens in a relationship, of course, right? But, 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 but. These people take it a step further. Like, in fact, let me show y'all a video I just saved of this white woman who's married to a Nigerian guy because, like, y'all, what? So this white woman, and let me be specific, this is a Ukrainian woman because, you know, white people like to pretend that white Americans are the only tragic white people and that white Europeans are just so much different and stuff. They, they hate accountability. So let me be specific. This is a Ukrainian woman, right? She got these braids in her hair. She's like, oh my gosh, when you when you take your braids down and you have to deal with your natural hair, so and so and so, right? Girl, like, what's the issue? Your natural hair is bone straight. There's nothing to deal with. Like, what are you saying, right? But she's repeating something that she's seen black women say, right? So black women, we have like a you know a more coily hair type so it takes a lot of time and effort to do our hair and it can be irritating sometimes you're like okay i gotta take my braids down you know detangle this that that right it can be irritating right so apparently this is something she's heard black women say and she's just repeating it because again she's trying to be us <laughs> like like literally it's it's not enough for them to just imitate us they want to actually be us so this white woman has box braids in her head. She's talking about, oh my gosh, I got to deal with my natural hair. Got the lip injections, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. She's literally playing dress up as a black woman. And like I said, a lot of times these non-black people, because it's not just white people, it's not just white people. They really try to become black people when they're in these interracial relationships with black people. They use the fact that they're married to a black person uh, in this case, specifically a Nigerian, let me be clear, because, because you know, y'all like to be like, oh, yeah, y'all men always marrying white women, not our men. Let me be specific, right? So they use the fact that they're married to a black person 
and have you know like half black kids and stuff as like their uh their foot in the door their way to say okay well you know like i'm part of the black community you know because because i got this black spouse and and a half black kid and yada 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 right these people are very weird i made a video probably more than a year ago and it was about this asian woman i believe her name was like it's lovely mimi or something right if i can remember the title of that video i'll put it up here right but she was recording the video and i forget what she was talking about but she was like yada 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 yeah these nick oop like she almost said the n-word right and then in her apology video all she said was oh um yeah you know my kids are half black so i use that word at home but i don't use it out in public blah 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 whatever 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 right which i called in my video i was like the only way you slip up and say a word is if you say it normally and you try not to say it in that moment right so um this is my thing though she literally used her children being half black as like her foot in the door to using the n-word well i'm not black but my kids are half black so so you know like I, I, i'm technically in the black culture so i can say that so and so so like they use these biracial kids as they foot in the door they use these relationships these interracial relationships as they foot in the door as soon as these people get into an interracial relationship with a black person they start wearing do-rags and slicking down their edges and using the n-word and all of this stuff they literally try to become us and i don't know why y'all are still dating these people because i've never come across an interracial relationship where the people just like each other i've never come across a black person who's in a relationship with a non-black person and they genuinely just like each other and it's not no weird old self-hatred shit going on right very rarely i might come across a relationship where a black person just happens to like you know the non-black person but the non-black person is always racist and always on some weird stuff anyway and it always comes out at some point like i don't get why y'all still date these people